Hi, my fellow artist is Chris Hart. I'm the author of many books on how to draw cartoons and manga and all sorts of stuff. And I want to give you some tips on how to start your drawing and continue it and adjust it as you go. Now, many people know that you start or assume that you, you draw your character from a circle like this. And I get so many people saying, I can't draw a circle. Well, you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to because it's never going to stay a circle. So do any kind of circle. So watch, I'll show you what I mean. We're going to do a dog here. And I'm going to put center line down here. We'll make it a puppy. And the eye line very low across. So let's space those eyes. I think he's going to be caught doing something wrong. So I will make those eyes kind of up and a little bit together. And I'll put a little thick eyebrow pressing down on them. I will finish this up with a, a black tool and you'll see a little more. So that looks good, right? We'll put the snout up here just above the eye line. And a little nose right where the center line crosses. A little nose. Mouth over to the side, just a little lip curved down, and also a little bottom of the lip. Make the nose small. Make this a little closer. Now watch this. Circle is okay, but let's give it some more expression. We'll bring the forehead down and we'll bring the cheek out here. And that's why also I, I use a marker, so I can experiment. I can make mistakes, I can do adjustments, and then I'll finish with a marker. I don't finish with a pencil. I never finish with a pencil on the first sketch, ever. See, so you're moving in like the forehead and then out for the cheek part. And I'm going to blend it straight into the neck. Matter of fact, I think I'll lower this just a touch. See another adjustment. Bridge of the nose here, a little lower. See that? And I'm going to cut this off a little earlier. In fact, I think that the eyes could be a little lower. That's better. Sometimes you have to get everything in place. Try a few things before you have it. I can just have them looking straight at you. Watch this. See the lower placed eyes? How they work better? Now, I couldn't do that if I were deciding I'm going to do it exactly perfectly the first time. What, what's the point? You, what, what's the prize? High eyebrows and give some kind of thick eyebrows. Now, I don't want, now that you have the, the uh, perennial question about the ears, in front or in back? Well, I like to flop them in front, so I'm going to have them slope down here. Like this. Maybe I'll have this one go up. What do you think? Yeah, like he's quizzical. Like, huh? Anyone who has a dog knows, huh, is cute. A little bit of hair back this way. And this one will go forward. So, it's one in back and one in front. That's good. So that sort of makes it, gives us some depth in front and back. Now, now we're set. Now we're set to give it a trot. Now, where's the circle? It, we start with a circle. It's totally been changed. So you don't have to worry anymore. I give you permission never to worry about drawing a perfect circle. Okay. Big eyes with big eyeballs. And cute characters are often drawn somewhat cross-eyed. Not very, but just a little bit. It gives them a puzzled look. A couple of lashes off the sides. Huh? Like those eyebrows. What? Yeah. 
and a bridge of the nose, and a little nose. Not completely round, kind of like a rounded triangle. Hmm, a little off center for this. A couple of bits of shading, and let's fluff those cheeks down here, and a nice thin neck. A couple of whiskers for the guy, maybe another little crease here. Here's his forehead. We hide them both behind the eye. If we hide them both parts of the forehead behind the ears, you're not going to really see the shape of the head, and you'll lose that cuteness. You don't want to do that. You never want to use, lose cuteness. Cuteness is hard won for cartoonists. It's like gold. I've got a dog that's so cute. Drives you crazy, though. Gets anything he wants. He uses cuteness as a weapon. He's cruel. He's evil. And he's cute. Okay, so now, let's go and add some contrast, right? That's better. Maybe a little bit of fur here, like that. And maybe we turn that into a little spot as well, kind of tie everything together. All right. Oh, forgot. He's a pedigree. A pedigree mixed breed. I don't know what that is, but whatever it is, that's what he is. Hey, I hope that was helpful to you. Again, just don't be tough on yourself. A circle, a square, a triangle is just a starting point. You take it from there. I have new videos I upload every week. I hope to be helpful to you. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.